Ghost didn't get to die with anybody. Ghost died alone. He did. That nigga died on the floor. This fair play 2333, and I want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdown. I, I, I just want the life that niggas can't afford. We, we whipping them babies once you can't afford. Not looking for beef, but some you can't avoid. And if I'm on a mission, it's you on the voyage. Shout out to Power is Fire on Instagram. Um, I probably could have found this clip somewhere else, but since I found it with them, I got to show them love and I got to uh, shout them out. Um, they do a lot of dope uh, Power content on Instagram, so y'all should follow them. Now, Amari Harwick, he takes an interview and he appears to confirm that Ghost is dead. He said that N-Word died on the floor by himself. And he further elaborated and said that, you know, he didn't like the way that that image put out that he basically died by himself. But um, did he die by himself? He had to get up on the ambulance. Did the ambulance get a chance to get in there to get him on time? Did Tommy run out and get the gurney off the ambulance and drive him himself? It's a lot of different things that could have possibly happened. Was Ramona in there when he died? Um, I think that this is Ghost confirming that Ghost is. I mean, I apologize. I believe that this is Omari Hardwick confirming that Ghost is dead. But I also think it's the underplay for the overplay. Um, for those of y'all who have never heard that term, the underplay for the overplay is basically saying you have a hidden agenda. Now, what would be Amari Hartwick hidden agenda? Power Book 2 Ghost is about to come back out. He's allegedly about to, well, I believe, I don't even care about the alleged. He's about to make a reappearance in the Power Universe as himself just before he starts to tell Tyreek about his origins. That's how I look at the story. And when you see it from that perspective, what ends up happening is he goes on this interview to shut down all of the talk about, oh, Ghost is alive, Ghost is alive, Ghost survived. That's Ghost walking in the back of the clip. When you see Tyreek standing at the podium, it's somebody walking to his side. Who is that? Is that Ghost? It stops a lot of that rhetoric when Ghost comes out and say it. And what it does is the fans who saying, Ghost not alive, it makes them feel more comfortable and more loud and more boisterous and also more annoying to keep saying that he's not alive. And then, but it makes people like me who say he is alive, well, if you like me, you're going to double down on it. I'm going to continue to say he's alive until I see that he's not alive, right? But people who not strong in their beliefs, who don't have uh, the sturdiness to stand 10 toes down, rain sleet or fall concrete grass or asphalt they gonna change their mind they gonna come around and say well omari said it so it must be true and let's go back to joey badass joey badass sat down in the interview and said he said that unique was dead and that he stopped playing unique in order to go on a tour and then when we looked up this guy tour schedule, when I looked up his tour schedule, he only had one thing on that. Now, he may do have some stuff on this tour schedule now. Why? Because he's done filming. But when you Joey Badass, your music is doing okay for you, but you able to get more fans from being on the Power Universe. People who never heard of you saw you before and that helped your streams. But also, when you saying you making an appearance somewhere, you're not only going as Joey Badass, the, um, I hate to say this, but the B-list rapper, you're also going as Joey Badass, the A-list actor on one of the top shows in the black culture and also one of the top shows on Stars Network and one of the top shows in the urban fear and one of the top shows on TV, period. So that raises your profile, which raises your booking price. So for me, I would never see him just leaving the show on those type of terms. Now, it will come apart where he will have to leave the show, but he's gonna die as breeze when he leave the show. And then he'll go back into music or maybe he'll get other acting roles. I think Joey Badass is actually a better actor than he is a rapper. So when we look at this ghost situation, we have to understand that all the time people lie and say that, yo, I'm not in this series anymore. Yo, I just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. 
scenes. But you got to understand that Amari is back on the scene a lot more. He don't have a movie coming out right now. He's not promoting anything. So why is he back on the scene? He's back on the scene because he's back in the power universe. Now, we do have to be honest with ourselves, and I mean me included, and say maybe he's just back on the scene because he's reacclimating himself with the power fans because he's back into acting mode as they try to put together the power book origin story. That can always be the case. He can always come back to the power book origin story as his adult younger self. Now, if you look at Ghost James St. Patrick Omari Harwick, he's lost weight as well. I told y'all when 50 Cent first started losing weight, I said it's for a movie role. I told y'all about his movie when th things all fall apart, how he had to lose all that weight to play a cancer patient. So I just don't see him just doing this out of the blue, him losing weight, then Amari losing weight. Even when you look at Tommy, Tommy looks a little slimmer in the face. He's always been kind of slim, but you can see that um, his face is getting slimmer, which tells me he's on some type of diet, which if I was a better man, I would say it's probably like a 50 percent chance that he's going to make an appearance as his younger self. Now, I could be wrong, but one person losing weight, uh, two people losing weight. We got something here. Three people losing weight is like a smoking gun almost in my eyes. So um, just to wrap it off a little bit, Ghost saying that he is dead and he died on the floor by himself means nothing to me. What means more to me is that Omari is running around um, doing interviews, talking about power. And remember, in the past, when he was having the alleged contract negotiations and they couldn't reach the terms of the agreement, he wouldn't speak on power at all. And the biggest thing that let me know things was good between him and the Stars Network was, hey, he posted that montage that somebody had posted on their page. He posted it to the story. And one thing y'all got to understand about um, Omari, man, he's a he's he treats acting like a business when he's on the stage, when he's on the uh, big screen, when he's in promotional mode. That's what he do. He out here to do his due diligence. But when he's not, he's Omari Hartwick. He's the family man. He's a father. He's a um, husband. Um, he's he's a dancer because that boy be dancing super wild when he's not on camera not in a zesty way but just like you know just dance like you wouldn't expect somebody who played football who like built like he built cut up and stuff like that to be dancing and pop locking but he grew up in the 80s right oh if y'all haven't man omari hardwick has an amazing story of basically how he was dirt poor Denzel Washington ended up giving him like $300 when he first moved out to Hollywood and um, he just stayed down until he came up. So salute to him. But the other thing, just 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 wait. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all going to want to jump under this and say, see, I told you. And I know a lot of y'all going to jump under this and say, hey, you he lying. He lying. But I've given y'all enough information for y'all to make an educated guess by y'all self. I tell a lot of people in the comments, the ones who don't be trolling, listen, I'm not upset if you think he is alive. I'm not upset if you think he did. Also, if you on Facebook, follow the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema group. Um, we in there getting busy. Also on um, Instagram, follow me at F-A-I-R. P L A Y underscore two three three three. Oh, and I also have a personal YouTube page, which is Fair Play twenty three thirty three. Salute to the Cinema Cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now. Written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fair Play twenty three thirty three.